Yes, that's the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. And yes, it's a bit of a big deal, considering it's a previous Wheels Car of the Year winner, and they sell squillions of them worldwide. And yes, that new variant, it's pretty good. This new C-Class, the first in seven years, is an all-new car. That means no carryover platforms, and there's been some genuine drivetrain improvements with more efficient engines and a new diesel hybrid variant, which means that of the five finalists, the C-Class straddles a divide between the fully electric models and those powered by coal. Mercedes has also completely overhauled this interior, which in some models has beautiful little touches like these speakers here, which look like retro shavers. It's also bristling with class-leading safety equipment with tech that we were marvelling at in the S-Class only a few years ago. It can brake automatically, follow other cars at speeds up to 60 kilometres an hour, and will even steer itself to stay between some lane markings. Pricing has jumped slightly across the board compared to the old car, meaning a starting price of just over 60 grand. But standard equipment levels are up as well. Combine all this, and it's easy to see why the C-Class breezed through the first round of judging and quickly asserted itself as a serious Car of the Year contender. Mercedes does an awful lot with this car. It starts at a quite reasonable price, little changed from the price they asked for the previous generation model that launched in 2007. The C-Class is somehow a mini version of the S-Class. It embodies what Mercedes is all about. It's got compelling technology on it, really pushes the boundaries in that category. It feels like a car more expensive than it is to drive. The road noise is fine, the comfort, the suspension is fantastic. It does everything you want it to do and the surroundings are what you're looking for. I can see why people just fall in love with that car, just by sitting in it and feeling it's kind of, it's connected, kind of quasi super luxury look and feel. They've added a series of class first safety technologies and that package combined means it ticks a lot of boxes. It has a really great blend between refinement and ride and steering precision and handling balance. It just, it, it, it takes everything and all raises them to an equal level of competence. Finding something that I don't like about it, I, I don't know, I'd be nitpicky. I mean, owners who just buy a C-Class are not gonna care. They're gonna live with the C-Class and they're gonna love it.